Good morning from Brussels. Well, I must say that I'm really pleased today because for the first time I received a question of a person in England asking me to help with the passé composé, so the past perfect in French. Uh, this person is called Kiran, so I hope Kiran you are watching my video and that you enjoy it and that it helps you out. So let's start immediately. Uh, so the past perfect in French is used very often and mostly for actions in the past. And why am I saying that? Is because in English, when you are talking about the past and past action actions, you normally use the simple past. So if you're talking uh, for example, about your uh, past weekend. In English, you will say, I ate, I drank, I went to, and so on and so on. Whereas in French, you will say, I have gone to the cinema, I have eaten in a restaurant, etc., etc. So in French, we use much more often the past perfect for actions in the past. But I will explain all that in another video. Uh, we are going uh, immediately to the exercises. Before starting, I also want to say that in French, to make the past perfect, sometimes you use the verb to be and sometimes you use the verb to have. In English, you also use, always, sorry, use to have. You will say, I have eaten, I have drunk, I have gone. Mostly in French, you use to have, but sometimes you use the verb to be. You will say, I am gone, I am eaten, I am... Well, this is not right, of course. Uh, it's not the verb to eat, but just to give an example. And I will also explain this, the difference between when do I use to be and when do, you use, when do I use to have in the past perfect. I will also make a video uh, because these are the famous mountain verbs. But in this video, we go immediately into um, the exercises and I will just tell you when you use the verb to have or to be to make the past perfect. And it will be explained in a further video. I hope this is clear. And so let's uh, start immediately. And we start with the verb to eat. And the verb to eat in French is to um, is manger. So let me start with the verb manger. And now we're going to write I have eaten. J'ai, because this is I have. You see here I made the list to have. J'ai, I have. Eaten is in French manger. And so you will see further on that if a verb ends in er, so we pronounce e, in the past it will be written like e with an accent, but pronounced in the same way. Manger, and this is also pronounced like manger. It's the same pronunciation. But the verb manger in the past is j'ai mangé. J'ai mangé, I have eaten. Good. Then I slept. The verb to sleep in English is, uh, I'm sorry, in French is dormir, which will be in the past. I have slept. J'ai dormi. And you will see that many verbs ending in ir in the past perfect will become i. J'ai dormi. Then we have the verb. So I looked, which is the verb regarder, and which in French will become j'ai regardé. You see, it's a verb ending in er, and in the past it's e with an accent. I saw is the verb voir, to see, which will become j'ai vu. And you will notice that voir, so O-I-R, will very often become U. This is a sound not really easy to pronounce for English-speaking people. It sounds a bit more like vous, j'ai vu, when I hear English people pronounce it. But so remember to make a very small round, very small opening with your lips and really make a very, very, um, t with a tense mouth, say vu. You put a lot of tension in your lips, in your mouth. J'ai vu. Good. Then I worked. To work is travailler, which is to work. And I worked is j'ai travaillé with an accent. 
to travel. I traveled is in French voyager. And I traveled is j'ai voyagé. You can later on um, only listen to the audio of this video so that you can practice, right? But for the moment, just watch uh, how, uh, how we conjugate, how we make the past verb. Perfect. I chose is the verb to choose, which is choisir. And in the past, as I said, ir becomes i is j'ai choisi. I decided is the verb to decide. It's décidé in French. And I decided is j'ai décidé. I decided. Uh, I bought is the verb to buy, which is acheter. And I bought, I bought in French is j'ai acheté. J'ai acheté, j'ai acheté. Okay. To cut. The verb to cut is couper. And, of course, it will become j'ai coupé because the ER becomes E accent pronounced in the same way, j'ai coupé. I waited is the verb. To wait is attendre. Sorry, it's two T's. And you will see that the R at the end of a verb, R, will become U also. Like the OIR becomes U and also the R. So it's j'ai attendu. Okay, I finished. That's the verb finir. And remember that ir normally becomes i. So j'ai fini. I left is the verb uh, to leave is partir. Ir will become i. But watch out. This is one with être. It's je suis parti. And I will explain that in a following video. I had. It's the verb to have. Uh, so the verb to have is avoir. We know it will end in u because we have o-i-r. But it has something special and I must say the verb to have and to be are special in most of the languages. So I had in French is j'ai eu. You say this av in the beginning becomes just an e and you pronounce it j'ai eu. I had or I have had in French. I was is the verb to be, it's être. I've been is j'ai été. This doesn't follow the rule, it's an exception. You have to learn this by heart, I'm afraid. I opened, it's the verb to open, is ouvrir. And it should be ouvri, but it's not, it's an exception. J'ai ouvert. And this ouvert, E-R-T at the end, maybe you've seen that on shop doors when they're open it says ouvert if you've been been to brussels or to a french speaking country you will see that on shop doors open ouvert i i offered uh, the verb uh, to offer is offrir and i offered is j'ai offert j'ai offert i offered you see it's the same kind of exe exception as ouvrir suffer uh, it's the same same thing. So to suffer is souffrir. I suffered is j'ai souffert. And then we have also in the same way discovered. I discovered the verb discover is découvrir. And I discovered is j'ai découvert. So these four Ouvert, offert, souffert, découvert. You can say it, they are like a rule in, in inside the exceptions. So those four, you have to know them by heart. They don't follow the rule where ir at the end becomes i. I received, the verb to receive is recevoir, uh, which becomes, well, we see that the oir becomes u. But it's even a bit shorter. It's j'ai reçu. I received. And when you want to get a receipt in a restaurant, you will know that you ask for the reçu. So the reçu is the receipt you get when you go to a restaurant or anywhere else. I had to. The verb to have to is devoir. Also there, it's shorter than uh, we would think. It's j'ai dû. 
j'ai dû, is I had to, for example, I had to work, j'ai dû travailler. Now, this little hat on the you, uh, we call it circonflex. I will explain that later. It normally um, indicates it's a contraction of letters. So, but I will explain that in another video. Uh, I answered, the verb to answer is répondre. I answered is j'ai répondu. Because as I explained before, the r becomes normally u. J'ai répondu. I went down, it's the verb to go down, is descendre. And to go down is one of those verbs with je suis. Je suis descendu. I went down, which I will, uh, which I will explain in another video. I sold is the verb to sell, is vendre. Vendre is quite a normal verb. J'ai vendu. You see, it's with the have and then at the end, u, because of the re here. Okay. Uh, I interrupted the verb to interrupt is interrompre, which is j'ai interrompu. Also following the rule. I drove to drive is conduire. Um, it has g and then at the end, well, it sounds like i, but there is a t. Conduire, it sounds like ir. So when you speak, you can still follow the rule that ir becomes i. But when you see it written, you see that there is an extra i and that in the past it has a t. J'ai conduit. It's the same for I constructed, with, which is the verb construire. And in the past, it will become j'ai construit. J'ai construit. Uh, I baked, same thing, it's the verb cuire. I baked is j'ai cuit. Voilà. I translate, to translate is uh, traduire. J'ai traduit. You see, they, they are kind of exceptions, but they all follow the, sa follow the same rule. If you have ir ending in an i, e, well, they have a t at the end. Traduire, j'ai traduit. Um, you, will see, you will see that finally it's important to know there is a t, because when you use those, uh, for example, construire, if you, when you're going to use it as an adjective and it becomes feminine and it will have an extra e, you will have to know it's construite. Well, this is a bit too much information for this video, but just that you know that, well, it's important to know there is a t at the end of conduit, construit, cuit, traduit, etc., etc. Okay, I painted, and I must say, now we come to a group of verbs, which we don't like. Uh, peindre, because in the past, they become j'ai peint. Well, it sounds quite easy when you say it, j'ai peint. But this I and T at the end seems to be not very easy. Uh, so, peindre, I paint it, and you see it's written with an E and not with an A in French. It becomes j'ai peint, I painted. I switched off. To switch off in French is éteindre. Uh, no, not an A, éteindre. And it's a bit like peindre, it becomes j'ai éteint. I switched off. J'ai éteint mon téléphone. I switched off my phone. Uh, joindre, to join. Joindre. No, this is not right. It's O, I. Okay, joindre becomes j'ai joint. I joined. You see, they all follow a bit the same rule, like the and here becomes I and T, right? J'ai joint. I joined the others. J'ai joint les autres. I went, that's the verb aller. And it becomes, well, I don't know why uh, there is this blue underlining because there's no mistake as I can see. Éteindre, no, there's no mistake to switch. I switched off. No, I don't know why. Um, aller. So I went is je suis allé. You say you see it's 
conjugated with the verb être, je suis allé, and watch out, but also that I will explain in another video. When you have the verb to be anywhere in a sentence in French, you have to adapt what's following. If it's an adjective, you put an extra E for feminine or an S if it's plural. So this is what a man would say or write, je suis allé. If I'm a woman, I would write at least. It sounds the same, but I would write, je suis allé, with an extra E. I will explain that in another video. Just that it's clear, when I'm a woman, I will write, je suis allé, with an E. But for the moment, I leave the more general version. Okay, and then, I sat down is the verb to sit down, sit down, which is a verb I, we don't like in general. It's s'asseoir, and it becomes, je me suis Assis. You see? So why is there me? Because it's a reflective, a reflexive verb with S, right? Why it's être here? I will explain that in the following video that you have être with all reflexive verbs. All. You will have suis and not have. Je me suis for all of reflexive verbs. And then we have être. So this one we will adapt if I'm a woman. I will say, je me suis assise, right? Uh, but for the moment, I leave it the more general version, je me suis assise. But normally, me as a woman, I should write, je me suis assise. Okay, so I drank, it's the verb to drink, it's boire. And we know that boire normally becomes u, so it's j'ai bu. You see, this whole part here becomes u, j'ai bu. I concluded, that's the verb conclure, and it becomes j'ai conclu. I knew it could be the verb savoir, or it could be the verb connaître. Savoir is like you know something very general, and connaître is something very specific. You know a person, you know a city. So let's start with savoir, which becomes j'ai su. I knew it. J'ai su. And then connaître is something specific, like, I, for example, I knew this person. Uh, J'ai connu cette personne, cette ville, uh, a city, a person, something really specific. Right. Then we have I ran, and to run is the verb courir. And the past is, it's an exception. J'ai couru. Just to learn by heart, because normally it should be I, right? Because ir normally becomes I. Here it's a U, it's couru. Just know by heart. Um, I believed it's the verb to believe, croire. And I believed is j'ai cru. You see the war becoming again, oh, I'm sorry. Becoming again, U. Um, well, there is another verb. And it's, well, I can add it to grow, like you grow, you grow wine plants or you grow, well, whatever. Uh, and that is, I, I've grown or I grew in English. And that's the verb, well, it's not so important, but, but I added because you will see why. It's the verb croître. And then it becomes j'ai cru with this little circumflex, right? And this is what you see on wines. It's a big growth. It's grand cru. Okay, this verb, it's not really important. I just mention it because it's very close to I believed, j'ai cru, and I've grown or I grew with a, a cir circumflex, with this little hat, right? I said it's the verb to say, it's dire, and the past is j'ai dit. It has a T. Uh, I wrote is the verb uh, écrire, to write. And the past is j'ai écrit. You see with a T. J'ai écrit. I wrote. Uh, I sent. So to send is envoyer. And I sent is j'ai envoyé. I did. It's the verb to do it's faire, and the past is j'ai fait. Really to know by heart, because it's a verb we use 
all the time. And in French, I made to make. It's also faire. To do and to make is both faire in French. So it's the same, of course. It's j'ai fait. We're almost finished. Finished. We're getting to the end. To read. The verb to read is lire. You would think it's j'ai li, but it's not. It's j'ai lu. There's just an u. There's a u. J'ai lu. I put, so it's the verb mettre, very useful, because you could, can put anything. Put on clothes, um, put something on the table, etc., uh, uh, etc. Et so it's a very useful verb. And the past, it's a bit exceptional. It's j'ai mis, absolutely to know by heart, j'ai mis. I put in the past. I died. Well, it's a bit of a strange verb to say. And, and I think you don't very often say I died. But I have to put it here because it's one of those verbs that take être. Je suis mort. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the verb mourir. Sorry. Mourir. Uh, don't say mourir. I hear that sometimes. But that's really a big mistake because... It's close to mouru, which is a fish. So really learn, learn by heart um, this verb in the past. It's je suis mort. Feminine, of course, would be je suis mort. Uh, it's used sometimes in expressions like I'm, I'm dying of, um, of tiredness, of hunger, of thirst. So, you could say, je suis morte de soif, dying of thirstiness. You see, je suis, well, I know, I know you don't say that in English, but you use those kind of expressions in French. So, you could use sometimes, je suis mort, je suis morte. I leave it here in the most general form, which is always masculine in French. I don't know if you know that, but the most general form in French is masculine. So I leave it like this, je suis mort, but if you're a woman, you say je suis morte. Same for I was born, it's the verb naître, to be born, and it becomes je suis né, feminine né, but I leave it masculine for the moment. It rained, of course I use it and not I, because I cannot rain, so to rain is pleuvoir, and it is in the past, il a plu. You see, don't forget to change your verb have or to be if you use here another person. So it has rained. Um, il is not only he, but it can also be it. Il a plu. It has rained the whole day. Il a plu. I could. Uh, to can is in French pouvoir. To can, to be able. And it is, uh, j'ai pu. You see, again, this U at the end. Very short, j'ai pu. I took is an exception also. It's prendre. Very useful verb. So, j'ai pris. You see, it's a bit like me. I put, j'ai mis. I took, j'ai pris. Very useful to learn by heart. And we're almost at the end. I laughed. And to laugh is rire. And the past is j'ai ri. I laughed. I followed. To follow is suivre. I followed. J'ai suivi. You see, it should be u, a u at the end, because it ends in re, but it's not. It's j'ai suivi. I came. To come is the verb venir. I came is je suis venu. It's one of those verbs taking être. I want it, and to want is vouloir, and I want it is j'ai voulu. Quite a regular verb, the voir becoming u. Okay, so if you have any questions about this or suggestions for other uh, videos, you can always send me a mail on maybe Miss A can help you at gmail gmail.com this is my mail address or you give a comment uh, in the comment section underneath the video but please don't hesitate um, to tell me if you like this video or not if it's useful or not but thank you anyway for watching this one <laughs>